Greetings, citizens. Just a guy has arrived. I'm honestly not sure if it's my place to comment on this. It probably doesn't seem like it, given the state of the channel right now, but at the very least, I'm gonna be avoiding using the person's name in the title, tags, and even the video itself. I don't want to feed off any algorithms or benefit myself here, but I, I do have some things I'd like to say even so. Now, obviously, it's counterproductive to then do all of that if I want to be heard, but I guess that's just what you gotta do these days. I don't know. Anyway, as I'm sure a lot of you folks know by now, a certain major YouTuber did something astronomically stupid over the past couple days. Stupid, disrespectful, you name it, somebody's already probably said it. I haven't seen the video in question, and really, I don't care to. Maybe that makes what I'll be saying here misinformed, ignorant, whatever, it's probably fair, but if what I've heard is even a little accurate, I, I, don't, I don't think you can blame me. Now, I try to give folks the benefit of the doubt. Try might not even be so much the right word as it is, it's just kind of how I roll. It's kind of my nature. So when I hear talk about some people stumbling upon a dead body and laughing, I, I don't think it's necessarily unreasonable for that to be a possible reaction out of shock. I think that's a fair thing to think. And if we go off that logic, then yeah, maybe someone might be prone to act poorly if they're in shock at that point. Basically, I'm saying you could argue that however the person or people acted in the video is, arguably, something you can defend if you take that stance. The problem, though, is that it isn't like the video was live. And this is something I want to say to those of you who are taking this stance. Yes, even if maybe, and this is a big maybe, especially for some of you out there, we can agree to some degree that the reactions were genuine and out of shock, it wasn't a live recording. The video, to my knowledge, was an edited one. Anything that was shown was something that was chosen to be shown to the YouTuber's audience. Now, you might say, hold on, if you're trying to look at it from that person's perspective, you know, to be fair, you have to understand that he vlogs every single day of his life, or something to that effect, right? And yeah, sure. But what was stopping that person then from cutting the cameras upon realizing what they'd found and simply doing a much more tactful video at most, perhaps to explain the absence of a normal video, discuss how it affected him, and maybe leave a positive message after the fact? Because what it sounds like to me is that perfectly reasonable option is one that didn't even cross this person's mind. Whether it was because they genuinely didn't think of it, or because they knew they could get away with what they did, I don't know, but uh, both options should probably be concerning either way. However, at the same time, I, I, this, I'm not sure if this is the right way to put it, but I do want to give the person is the chance, sort of. I don't think they might change overnight. I don't think that's going to happen, especially considering they don't really seem to be any, facing any consequences. However, I do think the internet's reaction sort of speaks for itself and not necessarily in a good way. Because the thing is, people have had it out for this person and this person's brother for a while now. And don't get me wrong, I don't think they're necessarily wrong to take issue with these two people, but I can't help but worry when I see how far people take these things. Would people even be reacting if it was just some random people? Would there be a reaction if there wasn't already controversy surrounding these people? You know, that's sort of the thing I'm wondering about. Will these two still be hearing about this, say, three years down the line when maybe they've grown a little and gotten some perspective? Will they be able to have the chance to do that, or will this just haunt them forever? Or does that matter to anyone? Are we just going to say, you know what, you fucked up and this is just your life forever now? That's, that's kind of more along the lines of what I'm thinking. Yes, they have fucked up now, and stuff needs to happen now, but they're still alive. There is still a future there, you know? Which, uh, of course, you know, you're going to be thinking, hold on, that's not the same for the person that they found, and obviously that is true, which is why there needs to be consequences, there needs to be something, but should a consequence be lifelong, you know? I mean, for one thing, I think that's a message that his audience could really use to understand, especially. Uh, more than that, I can't help but worry when I'm seeing how far people are taking these things. So, which is worse, kids being influenced by these people, or adults letting themselves get rabid at the idea of these people just existing? I'm, I'm probably not being as eloquent about this as I could be, but to be honest, that's kind of the real reason I felt the need to talk about this. Because no, it's not what the person did didn't bother me. I hope that's not what it sounds like. Because it did, believe me. I don't think I can put words to that, quite frankly. That someone's last moments on earth, that a family's private matters, their sadness, their grief, and that's all just been reduced to a global prop for this complete shit show. That this is now just going to be remembered for the rest of the year as a talking point every time something goes wrong with YouTube. Every time YouTube Rewind 2017 comes up, every time these guys come up, it's, it's upsetting, it's disgusting, more than that, look, 
the person in question, not not the YouTubers, but the person in question they found is gone, and they should be left to their family and their loved ones to rest. And so I, I, I'm not focusing on that. And you know, the point is these guys fucked up, and I, you know, the fa and as far as they, that person is concerned, dragging this out is only further is just gonna make it worse for them. You know. So the point is, I, I don't want to talk about that. And, you know, maybe that's selfish of me. Maybe I'm just, you know, hey, I'm going to ignore this part and talk about the thing I want to talk about. You know, maybe I'm being a shitty person for that. You know what? If I am, call me out on it. I'll listen. I, I am always open to that. But on the other hand, maybe saying that at all is just making this about me. I'm, if that's true, I apologize. I'll continue. Because what I do want to talk about is that for those of us who are just on the outside about all this, I want us to be better. I want you to be better. If you have people in your life who are fans of this person, then by all means, maybe show them what the person is really like. Maybe try to explain to them what's wrong without being the mean adult that doesn't get it. You know, maybe show them the stuff you like now or what you liked when you were their age. Appeal to them. I've always felt that, you know, if you're worried about bad influences on people, the best thing you can do is be proactive about it and, you know, offer alternatives. Why people seem to always instead, you know, go, take this away, take that away, this thing is bad, that is wrong, this is morally reprehensible, instead, when that clearly doesn't work and just makes people, you know, double down on what they like and defend it, I, I don't know why they do that, but that's, it doesn't work and it's beyond me. Lastly, though, just, just don't get sucked into this. I'm willing to bet a lot of the emotion here, and again, not unjustly so, is fueled by prior incidents involving the person in question and their family. This happens with celebrities all the time. This is how the paparazzi works. It feeds off scandals and outrage and all that. If you're worried about bad influences, then consider that these kinds of reactions may well just be showing people even more than anything that you can turn all of that into a product. You can cut out the middleman if you make the scandals yourself. Maybe that's what this person was thinking all along, even. Uh, but who knows? I sure as hell don't. After all, I'm just a guy. And this is not quite farewell yet. If you or anyone you know is thinking about harming themselves, please reach out to them. I figure instead of using that person's name and other algorithm happy lines, I, I can try to be productive and list some numbers you can call in the comments, description, all that. So if you feel like you need any of it, please, please use it. Whether it's for yourself, someone you know, whoever, don't take a chance and don't waste yourself. I may be just a guy, and this person may be, you know, who they are, but you? You could be so much. You could write a book. You could be a movie star. You could write the script to the next big thing. I don't know. Maybe you could just settle down and have an awesome family life someday. Maybe you could just have, you know, a cozy, peaceful life and, you know, just, just be happy. You never know. You can't. So why risk it? Now, anyway, citizens, this has been Just a Guy, and this is, for now, fair.